All right, Chef Buck here, and today we're gonna cook us up a crispy chickpea something or other. Actually saw this in the New York Times supplement because we read New York Times because we're on the cutting edge. <laughs> I don't know if you can read a newspaper and be on the cutting edge. But the first thing we're gonna do is just rinse and drain one can of chickpeas. So now you've got your uh, chickpeas rinsed and drained. We're going to put a, a skillet, boom, on medium heat, and we're going to heat us up three tablespoons of olive oil. All right, and once your oil nice and hot, medium hot, we're going to go ahead and take our chickpeas that we rinsed and drained, throw those in there. You know, you want to make sure your oil's hot enough, so boom, when you put them in there, they start sizzling right away. You want to make sure you rinse them and drain them enough so that you're not throwing a bunch of water in there, because otherwise it'll splatter up and it will disfigure you. So, depending on what your dating prospects are, you know, you don't want to be dumping a bunch of water in there. So we're going to go ahead and let these sizzle away for 10 or 15 minutes, 20 minutes. We'll just let them go and crisp up there in the skillet. It's been 10 minutes, and I think they're starting to brown up quite a little bit now. But we're gonna let them go for a few more minutes, I think. See if they crisp up anymore. This is a boring video recipe because there's nothing to it. But the thing is, I have made the crispy chickpeas, you know, where you put them in the oven with a bunch of spices. And man, it just wants to chip your teeth. You know, they're like little rocks, they're like pebbles. You might as well buy a bag of gravel at Home Depot and call them, you know, crispy chickpeas. So anyway, we're gonna try this recipe, stove top chickpeas in the skillet and see if they crisp up and, you know, they become something that you can actually digest, you know? 15 minutes, all righty, we're 15 minutes into it. And some of the, uh, the chickpeas are starting to get uh, a little burnt edge to them. They're a little crispy. So now we're going to throw some salt in there. You know, salt it up the taste, as they say. And then we're going to put some spices in here. I got about two teaspoons of spices, which might be a little heavy. But you know, I like it uh, spicy. We got a little bit of curry and some cumin, a little paprika, and then I'm throwing a little cayenne pepper in there as well. Just for the heck of it. We'll see how it goes. But it smells fantastic though. Let this spice toast up on these uh, chickpeas. Well, it's probably been about 17 minutes now, 18 minutes now, and these things got a little bit of a a little bit of a crispness to them, but not a whole lot, but I think they'll taste crispier once they get off of the heat. But they're not overly spicy, you know? So there you have it. Boom. Uh, spicy, crispy, chickpea, skillet top thingamabobs. We're just going to uh, serve them up with a little bit of tomato salad. Would you rather have a steak or that? <laughs> Uh -huh. Looks pretty good. Yep. Well, let's go give it a try. Alrighty, there you have it. There's some uh, crispy skillet fried chickpeas. We're serving it up with a little bit of tomato salad. Be great for use as a crouton on a salad, or uh, if you've got like a a pea shooter and you're in school, like these young people out here. Alrighty, I finished it all up. It was good. One thing to say though is that uh, the recipe called for one teaspoon. I ended up putting two teaspoons of spices in there. And I think it was good, but I wouldn't have wanted to have less than that. Because a lot of the spice you're gonna put on it, it's gonna stay in the skillet when you take it out. So don't be shy about putting your spices in there. I wanted to add that. <laughs> All right, if you wanna print uh, any recipe that I have a video for, just go to myfoodchannel.com and uh, thanks a lot for watching uh, this stuff.